guys. Hi. Today we are doing a recipe for the game Ransom of the Seven Ships. And this one was a little bit less of a precise recipe to go off of because if you've played this game you realize this is probably one of the games with the least amount of actual food in it. But there is a bowl of assorted fruit that you can go through and feed some of to the parrot. And there are also coconuts. So we are going to take our fruit bowl and our coconut and turn that into a nice tropical fruit salad to enjoy out of the heat of the sun, sitting on the pink sand beaches. Ready? Ready. So we have an assortment of basically the same fruit as we could identify in the bowl. We have assorted guavas. Ours are really tiny because that's all we could get right now. We have red and green grapes. We have an orange off to the side, a cantaloupe, and in the edge of the photo it looked like there was a lime, so we oh, have wow. that in here too. But first things first, we're going to get our coconut prepped. The first thing that we're going to do is drain this coconut so that when we crack it open the juice isn't going everywhere. So we're going to need some power a bowl, bowl, a screwdriver, and possibly a hammer for this step. And you're going to take your screwdriver and poke holes in each of the three eyes at the end. Also, you might want to put your coconut on a folded towel or something just so it's not scooting around while you're doing this. This is a two-person job. And once your holes are poked, you're gonna flip it upside down and drain it into a bowl. And we're just gonna set that aside. Next, we are going to take our hammer and we're gonna tap around the middle of the coconut and try to split it in half as neatly as possible. We're gonna rotate it as we go. And you'll want to take a spoon and get the coconut meat out of the shell. In a process but we have the coconut finally emptied out and we're gonna keep these two shells and these are gonna be our serving bowls. Next step is pretty straightforward we're gonna take the fruit in our fruit basket and slice it up. As for amounts um, just kind of eyeballing it however much you want to make and yeah. whatever you like the most of. So, like I said, we're using tiny guavas, so there's going to be a lot more to trim off on these. If you have not ever peeled, or if you've never prepared a guava before, first things to make your life easier, go ahead and like rinse it and pull off this little brown bit ever first, because that's going to go everywhere and make a mess. And then I'm going to slice each of them in half. And I'm going to scoop out the seeds from each of these halves because the seeds are hard. You can eat, but they are very hard and it kind of takes away from the experience. Mm -hmm. 
And then once they've been halved and seeded, we're gonna peel that. Again, you can eat the skin, but we're just not going to today. I do very much recommend getting bigger guavas if you can, because it's small. When they're this small, they're a bit of a pain to prepare. It might actually be easier to peel them first and then scoop them just because they're so flexible now that they've been seeded. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, we have a beautiful fruit salad. I'm gonna scoop it into a coconut shell. I think a little more lime wouldn't hurt it, but that's a good amount there. Also, for a side note, if you're doing this the same way at home, I would not cut your coconut any larger than this because you get a little bit of bite when you bite down on it, but um, any larger than this, it's going to kind of overpower the texture. Quite like the guavas. New fruit. Mm. Pretty good. The only thing I'm not enjoying in this is the cantaloupe, and that's just because I don't like cantaloupe. But I think it works with the other flavors. If you like it. So as far as fruit salad goes, if you didn't know this was a themed fruit salad, would you like it? Yeah. I do like the coconut. I've never had fruit salad with coconut. With the melon and the coconut, it is very summery. It's definitely a bit of a lighter fruit salad with it being a very heavy melon base. And I think a little bit more orange would be good just because the bites I'm getting with orange are really really tying everything together. Mm -hmm. I think that if we were stranded on the island for a while, waiting for someone to discover that we're there and come to rescue us, we could definitely live off of fruit salad and coconut shells for a while before we got completely sick of it. But that's just our opinion, so y'all try this <laughs> if you want at home. Feel free to leave out some of the ingredients like the guavas if you're having a hard time finding them. It took us a while for the store to get them in stock. Yeah, or you can swap out some of the fruit for something you like more, but let us know what you think if it's something that you enjoy too. That's it for today. <laughs> We're going to take off and finish eating the rest of the bowl. Just inhale. Yeah, maybe don't inhale bites of coconut. <laughs> Until next time. Bye. Guavas, 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 guavas,